He gave it his all in broadcasting, utilizing his skill and mastery of word and articulate usage. Many artists and connoisseurs remember a visionary picture. The Refugees Foundation knew a father and welcomed his agility and focus. In keeping the peace, he traveled far and wide, building lasting bridges of support and help. In fact, many say he lived a life worthy of emulation. Ambassador Shegun Lushola, this man of many interesting and enterprising parts, passed on on June 21, 2012, after a brief illness at the age of 77. It was quite, was quite peaceful. He um, was quite relaxed and composed. Uh, was a moment where we had a little chat. And it wasn't obvious that he was dying, and he simply just said, okay, I'll, uh, let me just take, have a little rest, and um, from there on, he passed on. Born on March 18, 1935, his broadcasting career began in 1955 in Nigerian Broadcasting Service in Ibado. And in 1959, he was a pioneer television broadcaster with WNTV Ibado that evolved into the Nigerian Television Authority, the NTA. He is the first African television broadcaster in Nigeria. His ingenuity birthed village headmaster in 1968 on television after its debut on radio some years earlier, a drama series that showed a people's rich and vibrant culture, solidifying ties, renewing pride in our ancestry, and growing enthusiasm and excitement in community life. Dejima Lewis played a key role, the ruler, the Kabiesi. Every contact with him is a great memory. As a creator of Village Headmaster, as my boss, or Oga, in television, he taught me television production first before I got trained abroad. Every moment is fun with Baba Olushola, with we used to call him Uncle Shege, Uncle Shegun, but it's, it's, Baba, it's Baba for us. Ambassador Shegun Olushola had an amiable, courteous, and confident disposition that endeared him to many, such that his ambassadorial appointment in Ethiopia saw him serve a record six years, service that was hallmarked by growth of the arts and culture in both countries and a deep bond of friendship. He gave me an accreditation letter to represent him everywhere in the area of culture. In recognition of his service to man and country, he was awarded the national honor of the Order of the Federal Republic, OFR, by a proud Nigerian government. Ambassador Shegun Olushola was a well-known philanthropist. Armed with his intimate knowledge of refugee issues in Africa, he established the African Refugees Foundation in 1993, unreservedly bringing succor and hope to many displaced persons across Africa.